All right, how's it going, uh, Joe, Chris, and Will, as well as the rest of the Mewies. Uh, this semester, for my capstone, I decided I was going to create an album with Jules McGonagall. Uh, she graduated a semester early, and she's almost entirely featured on this project. Uh, it's most mostly her songs or her writing over my production, um, and it's called Woe and Album. So it's an eight-song project. It's recorded in Weeks MWP, and because of the circumstances, either um, at my house in Miami or in her house in Connecticut, so I had to learn how to do a lot of uh, remote work um, over Google Drive or over Messenger, a lot of voice memos, um, a lot of back and forth of audio files, which is definitely something to get used to. And then for the most part, the, uh, the album was created in the box besides vocals which were done by Jules, and some of the guitar work, which was done by either me or my roommate, Jackson Potter. Um, and for the guitar, I either mic'd it up and recorded um, his amp directly, or I used uh, just a DI into a uh, amp simulator, such as Guitar Rig, to record some guitar. So, I know what you're probably thinking, man, does this, does this qualify as an album? It's a little short, but after a tiny search, seven tracks or more will be considered an album in the eyes of iTunes, and that's kind of the gold standard to me. So it is indeed an album. Um, here are two pictures of us working on it in MWP in weeks. Um, the setup's basically the same both times. We used either a U87 or U87 AI, depending on what was available. And that was run into my, my tiny two input interface. And that would go directly into uh, Ableton. So I used Ableton as my DAW for pretty much this entire process. Rarely, um, I used Pro Tools to track um, vocals over like a demo I had. Uh, but for the most part, it was through just my computer. And then I would run the output of that into the MWP and Weeks computers um, in order to to use the uh, the cue boxes because I didn't have a headphone splitter and we both wanted to be able to listen back while she was tracking. So, who helped um, besides me and Jules? So on four songs, we have uh, What We Are and Stumbling Home, Jackson Potter playing guitar, on um, Jailbreak and Stuck on You. We have Evan Peters doing some production work and Daniel Escobar um, one of my friends coming down to uh, MWP one one night and he helped with a little bit of the uh, tracking. So throughout all of this, I just wanted to share like a, a tiny story, um, which I thought was pretty cool and an interesting experience that I wanted to include on the album. So since uh, Jules graduated, she was trying to find some work and she was going in between Connecticut and Miami. I was working on this um, and she ended up meeting this this guy through a friend of a friend uh, named Marcus Anthony who ended up being part of a small like production group signed with Sony called the heavyweights and throughout this entire process like we would we would create either a song for this album or just a random demo that maybe we weren't gonna do anything with and we would send it to them um, to see if anything would stick or if maybe they wanted uh you know any any production from us or writing from us and for the most part you know we got a few a few demos from them that they wanted uh us to like or they wanted jules to top line on or or maybe like some small like production tasks but when we sent them uh stumbling home one of the songs on the uh, on the album which is like super pop song it's written by jules um they ended up liking it a lot, and they did their own rendition of it. So we have a second share on my website, um, just because you know it's not mine. I, but I do want to show, you know, what it turned into in their eyes. And then they also reached out because they do a lot of work with um, with like Akon and Neo, which I thought was kind of funny. It's definitely like a throwback or two throwback artists. Um, 
but they wanted um, they were working on Neo's new album and they wanted us to create uh, a song maybe in, in his style for him so I called on my, my trusty old pal Evan to help me and we tried to create a, a song in the style of Neo and that's what uh, Jailbreak became and we have Jules on, on the vocals on that. And after sending it to them, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's definitely something way outside of uh, our style. And they ended up, <laughs> ended up like being like, okay, this is this is good, but this, this, this sounds like nothing, like Neo. Um, but I thought I would just include it on the album anyway, because I thought it was a, a good story. And I ended up liking uh, the different direction the track went in. Um, so this is like my, my fourth time trying to record this video. I keep trying to record, uh, audio from Ableton from a specific session. Um, but it, it keeps crashing or it keeps failing or the audio sounds so warped that I'm just going to walk through, um, kind of what I was going for while creating, uh, the song or one of the songs at least. So. All right, here is the uh, the session for the song What We Are. I'm unable to, for some reason, record my voice and uh, the the output or the audio for my Mac without it like crashing or, or getting this weird distortion sound. So I'm just not even going to try to play anything. But I will walk you guys through how I went about making the song started with this this like little synth sample I found um, amongst my many folders from from splice and I took that I uh, layered it up an octave this uh, MIDI vocal you know chord sequence and that became the main the main formula for or at least the melody for this song uh, after that, I went and created some some bass parts once again all all in MIDI and this is using one of my favorite synths of all time it came free in like this plug-in bundle I had it's called element and I'm telling you this thing can eat up your CPU but it's really simple to use in my eyes and hasn't failed me yet I'm a big fan of it um, but yeah after that after recording some bass we have some drum parts, which is this little group right here. For the most part, it's, it's a very simple kick snare, kick snare groove. Um, some percussion loops that I either warped or chopped up to, to fit the song. And then this little like tom roll that I created, which is like pretty like fundamental part to the tune, in my opinion. But yeah. After that, um, go to the uh, guitar part, which Jackson recorded, my roommate. So I went down the hall and uh, mic'd up his, uh, his guitar amp, and we tracked one of them pretty much um, unchanged besides some, some high passing here with my EQ. And then I doubled that and ran it through a guitar rig just as a little like, see it's like pretty low in the mix, but just to like add a little bit of of depth to the uh, guitar part, because sometimes things, at least guitar parts in my opinion, can sound a little bit thin if you're just recording them with one mic. Um, but yeah, so he did this for the, the verse and pre-chorus. Um, and after that, the, the production was pretty much done, you know, besides some, some other little Little examples here and there or ideas this is basically the the track and then we get to the the vocals which is and probably at least 20 tracks with um, done by Jules the beginning of the song was done in M MWP I'm pretty sure or at least a production and then I think maybe the vocals were all done remotely by her in Connecticut and we'd send things back and forth over Google Drive um, but yeah we have Pretty much just a standard, standard way of tracking vocals. I'm not really doing too much. I think I'm messing. I like 
like using H uh, H reverb a good amount. But yeah, it's it's pretty much just her vocal playing with uh, not much on it for the most of the song. I do a, a good amount of stacking here in the pre-chorus. Let's see, you can even see all the uh, the audio files I I didn't use, but I had to sift through anyway. Um, and then I also did this little part right here, which was like an ooze section. I ended up just chopping it up a bunch to create uh, a little bit of a texture there. And yeah, that's oh, and then we have the uh, the chorus here, which is I think a mixture of, of my voice and her voice. Um, and I use this this other thing called 